I have a member who's asking if there's a way for them to import their custom data of who received what loot into that'smybiz.com. And I'm happy to say that yes, that should be perfectly possible. So by default, if you come into the assign loot page as a raid leader or anyone with higher permissions and go to import loot, uh, this is designed to take in loot data from RC Loot, loot Council. So RC Loot Council allows you to export data as a CSV. If you take that CSV and paste it in here, as long as the characters inside of your CSV exist on the website and hit load data, it'll load in just fine. But this can also be used to load in custom data as well. So in the example that this player or this member has provided me, uh, they have some chat message logs. They basically have a simple add-on geared up so that whenever Luke gets traded in chat, it records it and logs it here. So when I'm looking at this, I'm looking for two pieces of information. First off, the character that received the loot, and second, the item ID. As an added bonus, they even have the name of the loot here. So this is perfectly compatible with being loaded into the website, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first off, they can just copy all of these rows. They're gonna wanna go and remove this trailing data at the end, we don't want that, and the trail or the leading data at the beginning, we don't want that either. If they take that and they just take the core of it, they can take this and they can paste it into Google Sheets or they can put it into something as simple as Notepad. I'm gonna have an example right here. So I've taken the very data they provided me with and I pasted it literally into Notepad. All they need to do is add headers to the fields that they want imported and they need to, again, remove the leading and trailing garbage data. And I have two examples. In the first example, I took all of the data they have and I tried to match up the fields to what the website is looking for. So if we look at the import here, we can see it has a list of potential fields that it will take in. And there's a little sample up here. So I've gone and I've tried to match up their data to the available fields. And I've got a second set down here where I'm only importing the key or crucial data. So if I take that and I paste it into here, when I hit load data, it loads those into the form. Now I've already gone and I've added the two characters they have to my guild, so it was able to find them. If those characters weren't in my guild, uh, this would have failed and would have highlighted the characters that were missing. But other than that, it's gone and it's loaded that crucial bit of data, the item, and the character it went to. Uh, as a little bit of extra information, I've got a note here that if you press F12 in most browsers, you can up open up your browser's console and it's going to give you a little bit more extra metadata about how the parse went. In this case, we can see it found four rows, there were no errors, and there's a bit of metadata. In this case, it detected automatically that the separating character was a semicolon. You can put whatever separating character you want, and I have it set up so it's just going to try and find it, detected the new lines, and so on and so forth. So that's it. That's how you can load pretty much any data source into the website. You just need to make sure it's, um, I guess, transform it into a viable CSV and you are good to go. Two other notes. The first one is that if you have any columns of data with headers that aren't expected, they will be disregarded and so that's okay. Second note is that it, you can do up to 150 rows of data at a time. If you have maybe a thousand rows of data or several months of backdated data, that's okay. Just do 150 at a time, load them into the form, submit the form, and repeat until you've gone through all the data. Honestly, it goes pretty quick. Thanks for your time and have a great day.